In the book of Hebrews, the author has a long section in chapter 7, 8, and 9 in which he explains that we have a high priest who brought us a new covenant, a new relationship with God, and he made the old covenant obsolete. The old covenant sacrifices gave symbols and pictures of forgiveness. But Jesus brings us the reality. We are forgiven. As high priest, Jesus provided himself as the perfect sacrifice, and God accepted that sacrifice. And Jesus sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high, where he now intercedes for us. Well, so what? In chapter 10, the author gets to the so what part of his letter. He tells us how we should respond to the good news of our faithful and merciful high priest in heaven. Verse 19, therefore, brothers and sisters, since we have confidence to enter the most holy place by the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way opened for us through the curtain, that is, his body. The author is referring to the curtain that was in the tabernacle in the temple, the curtain that divided the main part of the temple from the most holy place, the inner sanctuary, the part that symbolized access to God. Notice here that it's not just Jesus who goes into the inner sanctuary. We are also able to enter the most holy place into the presence of God because Jesus has opened the way for us. So he says here that since we can do that, uh, verse 21, and since we have a great high priest over the house of God, let us draw near to God with a sincere heart and with the full assurance that faith brings, having our hearts sprinkled to cleanse us from a guilty conscience and having our bodies washed with pure water. So we can draw near to God, and we can be confident that we will be welcome. Why? Because we have been washed clean. The old covenant priests had to wash in water before they went into the Holy of Holies, and they sprinkled blood on the altar to provide atonement for the people. But those things were only a picture, a shadow of the reality that Jesus would bring. And what is that reality? It's that our guilt is removed. We have a clean conscience. And by faith in Christ, we can be fully assured that we are okay. We have been washed with pure water, Jesus himself. So, verse 23, let us hold unswervingly to the hope we profess, for he who promised is faithful. We can hold tight to the promise God has made to us in Jesus Christ. 